Right, welcome to this episode of our program Daily Debate. As usual, we will be discussing an important debate. Today we'll be speaking in two segments about two important files. The first one was the UN Security Council uh, meeting that was uh, uh, or this urgent session that was held uh, at the request of Egypt and Sudan to discuss the uh, disputed uh, Ethiopian uh, Renaissance Dam and the um, session or uh, the council at that session concluded its long meeting with an agreement to throw its back behind the African Union uh, to sponsor more discussions between the three parties. Of course, uh, there would be more other uh, talks on uh, whether uh, to um, adopt the resolution or, uh, uh, that Egypt and Sudan has uh, submitted um, uh, and presented by Tunisia, the, non, uh, the Arab non-permanent uh, uh, a member at the UN Security Council and uh, definitely we'll see more about this uh, session that was postponed for more uh, discussion. On Sunday, Irrigation Minister Mohamed Abdel Aati said that the uh, dam contains critical flows. Some have been revealed while others remain undeclared. Abdel Aati stressed that uh, the state would not allow any water crisis to occur due to Ethiopia's joint controversial dam, pointing out that all relevant states' bodies are working around the clock to study all possible scenarios and take the proper decisions in due course. On the same time, or at the same time, uh, Minister of Foreign, uh, uh, or Foreign Minister Samah Shukri headed to, to Brussels to deliver a message from President Sisi to the uh, President of the European uh, Union Council. Uh, the Minister will also hold meetings with Foreign Ministers at the EU uh, states and senior officials at the European Commission to uh, try to comfort over bilateral relations but also discuss with them regional issues. This would be discussed in our se uh, first segment. In our second segment we'll be tackling at large the uh, uh, Egyptian role uh, that uh, Egypt is uh, playing in the African continent and more developments in the uh, African scene and in relation and cooperation among the African countries or how Egypt is trying to explore opportunities to uh, uh, extend relations with the African countries. We'll be speaking about that in our second segment. Before we delve into discussion of uh, uh, into our segments, let's first see this report and we'll come back for more discussion. Samah Shukri stated on Saturday that the situation within the United Nations Security Council is complicated due to political considerations, alignments and interlocking interests. On Thursday, the UN body held a session on the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam Gird, which was held at the request of Egypt and Sudan in an attempt to settle the dispute over the near-complete dam that Ethiopia has been building since 2011 on the Blue Nile. In a phone and televised interview, Shukri pointed out that bringing the GERD issue to the Security Council was important in order to hold it responsible, as it is the major entity in the United Nations system concerned with maintaining peace and security. Given that Thursday's session on the GERD was the second following an earlier one held last year, Shukri said that such thing is unprecedented and should be considered as an achievement for the Egyptian diplomacy. In earlier statements, Shukri explained that this session came about because of efforts made by Egypt to convince member states of the seriousness of the situation and the importance of the Council taking responsibility for the issue. Regarding that failure of the Security Council member states to mention Ethiopia's unilateral filling of the GERD in their statements during the session, Shukri stressed that Egypt would raise the issue with member states and register its unease with the omissions. Only three days before convening the council session, Ethiopia had already commenced its second year filling of the GERD, which both downstream countries condemned, with Cairo describing it as a dangerous violation of international laws, as well as the Declaration of Principles signed in 2015. 
Following Thursday's session, Shukri said that Egypt would defend the rights of its citizens by all available means, stressing that the negotiations must take place within a specific time frame. A week ago, Tunisia, the only Arab member of the 10 elected and non-permanent members of the UN Security Council, submitted an Egyptian-Sudanese GERD focused draft resolution to the UN body, which is due to be voted on during the coming days. The draft resolution calls on Egypt, Ethiopia and Sudan to resume negotiations at the joint invitation of the chairperson of the African Union, AU, and the secretary general of the United Nations to finalize, within a period of six months, the text of a binding agreement on the filling and operation of the GERD.